Special shout out to my members and patrons Sam Medina, Matthew Hall, Lucky Charms, Rick Hemingway, Charlene Kelly, Hushika Bay, Madlow, The Hellraiser, Harrington, Iron Beast, Jelly Beams, Yumi, Jim Bones, MDS 84ZA, Carnet 76, Balalco, and Killer Bunny 264 for your amazing support. Members and patrons get shout out on all my videos, get access to your private Discord channel, and access to my Seminars Rise server. If interested, check out the links in the description down below. Hey everyone, and welcome back to Apocalypse Now Mod. So, we are going to be facing the Day 21 Horde. And I'm hoping the base last. On day 7, we faced them on like the uh, military roof next to us. Day 14, we used the base, but we got overrun because we didn't have enough ammo. There was too many explosive bears and stuff. And yeah, now day 21, it's going to get worse and worse and worse. But at least this time around, we have concrete base. We have the ammo for it. So yeah, it's insane difficulty. It is Nightmare Speed and 64 Blood Moon Spawn. Those of you just joining in, we are playing on like double everything, block damage, loot respawn, uh, no, not loot respawn, uh, loot abundance, and XP so that the series progresses faster, but that makes the game, it makes the game harder. Um, on insane difficulty, the zombies are already a little bit more spongy, and you get way more tough zombies, feral zombies, behemoths, demos, um, and then also, because we're playing times 2 XP, we're getting tougher and tougher and tougher zombies, uh, way above what we actually currently have. Now the loot abundance does give us more loot, but of our current level and stuff, uh, like, you have to loot and loot and loot, your scavenging is still low, so you're getting that level of loot. It's not like you're getting, uh, it's because you're insane difficulty, you're gonna get like the AK fully automatic, or, you, you guys get what I mean. So yeah, <laughs> it's a little bit tough, uh, we have been suffering a bit, but I'm hoping in the Day 21 Horde we can actually survive. This is the lineup we're going to be uh, using for ammo and stuff. We have some concrete mix left. Let me just do this. Zero, so we can actually see. And yeah, we have to go. Um, I wanted to actually show off the base, but there's not enough time left. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, so basically what I did was I put this over here, a pole, and this to a hole. I have the sledgehammer over here. It's going to knock the zombies off as they run up. Over here, they're going to run up the stairs here. Here, and then the stairs, of, well, the, the ladder over there and there, and then the stairs over here for the animals. They're going to do this, they're going to fall down over there, and the ones that do make it over, have to jump, 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 and then get over. Oh, I just realized. I'm not inside the base yet. Oh, we're already getting vultures, that's not good. We just get inside. Ha 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 ha. Yeah, I haven't reloaded yet. I have a silence on this gun because we're going to be using it mostly. Just see if everyone's piling up where they're supposed to. Yeah, see the animals jump up over there. But the zombies love going up the stairs normally. I'm actually thinking of the animals doing... Oh, I didn't grab the steel ammo. Well, I did, but it's not for the shotgun. I was actually thinking of grabbing a, a, a few of those shotgun sh uh, sl uh, sledge or steel slugs or whatever. Oh, we're going to go through ammo so fast, guys. Especially when the bears start showing up. These ones are still fine. Grace. But when the bears start... Uh, this, that, 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 that. They explode, which is really bad for your base. No! They already exploded. That is not good. We don't really have that much concrete. Oh, let's just do that. We really don't have that much concrete mix to constantly be focusing over here. So I think instead of having these two here, we're going to have our explosives. And hopefully we can explode the bears. Look at all those zombies. Oh, crap. Um, I always struggle with the aiming on this. He's going to burn a ton of zombies. Oh, I want a nice picture of that, but we can't. Did I just go outside or inside? Inside. That is so messed up. Okay, it's, it seems the explosion, yeah, we can actually kill ourselves with grenades over here, so we have to be careful. Nice. So I have to step back. No matter what I use, I have to step back and face them. Why do you have so much HP? Oh, you must be another legendary. There are legendary vultures as well, and they have way, way, way more HP. So I'm guessing that was a legendary just now. Okay, we're gonna do this for now so we can put the Molotovs. Oh, we do have the Molotovs. Remember that I couldn't see the Molotovs. We do have these Mega Molotovs, but we have to be careful. If we mess up with this, it can really kill us at the moment. This thing's range is way, way, way wider than our normal uh, Molotovs. And then the nice thing is I can stand over here and do this. Because this is like pin perfect. 
That seems like a massive demo. That doesn't look like a normal demo. See, some of them fall over, not all of them. Those that do fall down. Yep, look at that. That works really nicely. They fall down over there and just some of them, like the bears, for example, make it over a lot. No, I, as soon as I see a bear, I'm going to start doing this. I don't want to waste that right now. So we're going to do this. I just hit a ton of zombies as well, so that's awesome. And then more explosives. Maybe be careful not to accidentally have an explosion go off inside the face of a, um, a demo, because that can also set off the chest. If the explosive happens, or if the explosion happens in the face, it also allows the chest piece to get hit, the button, and then they explode. I see you too. Oh, Venus already. That's, oh, and they're making it over. That is not good. Okay, we have some more Molotovs that I put you. I constantly have to look out for these guys because like this one. Yep, he's a legendary. If he takes that many shots, it's a legendary one. Nice, that killed him. If we can keep doing that, we should be safe. I'm gonna make that. Oh, we don't have enough steel. And that ghost saying, I see you the whole time is really freaky. If a vulture takes too long to die, it's either a mutated or it's a legendary. I think I should do this and then repair with this. As far as I'm aware, braces don't explode. They can just do quite a bit of damage. We're gonna use a shotgun for this. Unfortunately though, we don't know, we're not doing enough damage. With that damage. Uh, this thing's not really helping that much. I needed to knock uh, zombies off, but it's not knock knocking zombies off. Or at least not fast enough. What I technically should do is uh, keep the. Oh, no, 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 no. I should keep the grey grenades over here, and then as soon as I want to explode them, just use the... Either this or this. So I shouldn't be using the explosives right now. The explosives to help me set off the grey ones. I'm hoping we get a ton of XP from this horde. A little bit of lag, but okay. Not bad, not bad. Oh, that's a lot of damage to the... Oh, that's a lot of damage. That might just come caving in now because of that one demo. It's a shame we don't- we do have frag rockets, we just don't have a rocket launcher. And then these need to be repaired before they break. Okay, we need to be able to get away from here as soon as this fails. If this fails. So far it's holding, but as soon as too many bears make it over, we have a problem. It's really creepy when it keeps saying, I see you, I see you. I hear you, yeah. Uh, quick point. Three. Maybe this one, in the face. No, 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 no. Ooh, he almost exploded. He was standing still. Usually when they stand still like this, just like the radiated bears, they explode. Oh, crap. I was about to say, look at all those zombies down there. that. Do that. Oh, that Molotov actually hit all of them just now. Need to make sure that's also repaired before he breaks in. Okay, now we go and make sure this is repaired. Yep, 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 yep. As soon as we get demos and stuff, uh, there's a demo somewhere down there. As soon as we start getting tougher zombies right now, we're going to be uh, screwed. There's, there's a behemoth over here. Oh wow, something just vomited straight through the window. Make sure that the spider zombies can't get in there. 
crap, that is gonna kill me if I'm not careful. I'm supposed to throw a few grenades down there, like so. And then I'm supposed to use... Oh, oh, that was dumb. That was dumb. That was dumb just now. I, th I threw it as soon as the other one was about to explode. And then you do this. And blows all of them up. Yeah, guys, if you pull a pin on one, it's going to explode. Be careful. I mean, I, I threw it with a, the intention of uh, straining it. That's where they end up the whole time. We do that, and then she set it off, we just do this. Boom! We can kill so many zombies if we actually do this right. Oh, that is a... Oh, that's a behemoth. Ooh! Ooh! You know what, just for that... Crap. Oh, the Terminator's here. <laughs> he just swore at me. Okay, I need to heal, I need to eat, I need to do everything. Let's just do this. Um, I want to pick these up before they despawn. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Do this, do this. Oh, no. No. No, that block's missing. They're going to start not parting anymore. I'm not careful right now. They can really... This can mess up my base. If a bear decides it explodes over there, or a cop, or uh, anything, that walkway needs to be steel as soon as possible. As soon as that breaks, I, there's just one block left that needs to go. And if it goes, then we have a problem. Do that. Oh, hello. Make sure that bear doesn't explode. I'm gonna do that as well for the meat and stuff for later. Okay, th this should knock you down. Yep. <laughs> Yeet. That worked nicely just now. And there's another vulture out there, so I need to be careful of that. See, I accidentally keep on setting myself. Uh, uh, every time I do this, I hit like a demo or something. And then something bad happens. Oh crap. I have to hit the vulture, but first things first. Whoopsie. No, 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 no. Okay, did you kill this dude because he's a legendary again? It could just be a giant uh, radiated vulture, but I think he's a legendary. Get the bones, get the bones. We're going to need way more explosives, guys. This base works really well, but we need explosives. The explosives ties it all just very... Oh, crap. Pull the pin. Don't do that. There might be even more. Oh, legendaries if not careful. Can we do this? Do this. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, now this is a waste. Okay, no, no at least this is not gonna... Yeah, this thing's uh, line doesn't get shorter and shorter and shorter like a pie bomb, so that's good. That's awesome, that's cool, that's good. Okay. You be so careful. It's so easy to accidentally hit a demo down there. Or make a cop or a bear explode, uh, uh, get a rage and explode and then we have a problem. Another bear incoming. Oh, bye. Two bears. Two for the price of one. Oh, no, 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 Damn it. That's too slow. Look, at least so far, this is way better than the first time. The first time we had only this building's blocks, and it was too weak to stop an explosion like that. Well, we only have two explosives left. This is not good. 
Oh, wait. Uh, oh, we, need, we can make these into uh, bolts. Um. Are you kidding me? That was such a waste right now. Actually, just use my shotgun for this one. For these ones, use the shotgun, and for the bears that can explode, use a long range damage per second. At least I made the top one concrete as well right now, so that's helping us. And be careful, just like the um, spider zombie could actually make it through, these guys might be able to squeeze through as well. What's with all the grace ones? There's so many graces of here. And they do quite a bit of block damage, as you guys can see, they do quite a bit. So many times I should have died just now. The fact that I'm still alive is a miracle. Crap, now I have a problem here. This thing's gonna explode. Oh, nice! Okay, that was a miracle just now. Uh, luckily, it seems, he was low on HP already, so that saved us just now. Do this. Oh, he's gonna explode. If he explodes downstairs, that's fine. As long as he doesn't explode up here with me. Reload. I'm gonna need some vault hatches over here because this is just not working right now. It's too weak, so it keeps breaking. At least it seems like the walkway is working really well. Yep, yep, yep. All of them are falling off mostly. So this defense is really, really working well. Although, that's hanging on by a thread. It takes one or two zombies to explode over there and we lose the whole design. Oh, they already took out the ladders on that side. I just realized there's no more ladders over here. We have so many skill points. Did I just kill a... Oh, was that 15,000 XP just now for him? Or combined for him and other zombies? Yeah, but that was less, just him just now. That's insane. Wait, it's a... Ooh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Sledge. You think, with all of the zombies exploding and stuff, the fact that the Sledge is still okay... I shouldn't say that because just now it breaks now. At least it seems the fire is working, but I need to make way more HD ones. Like Mega Molotovs. I think I just see Mega. Yeah, there's Mega Contact, Mega Molotovs, Mega Exploding Arrows. And also, guys, in the workstation, I just realized you can use normal arrows to make... Uh, you, you, it's a like one-to-one ratio, so you can turn these into bolts. Since we're using a bolt or a crossbow, that's awesome. That saves you some... Uh, having a, uh, to carry around a uh, bow just for that. Okay, there's a little bit of lag of here now. I mean, with the amount of zombies... Let me just see what's the frame rate. Eh, it's, not, it's not horrible, but it's not good. I need to make sure I take their heads off completely before they explode. The dog at least gets thrown away before he explodes. Yep. As long as he doesn't go back up there and explode up there with his friends, then we should be fine. I wonder if they started digging into the place because I keep hearing stuff next to me. Might just be my imagination though. It's a shame this thing doesn't auto-reload. I have to specify the whole time it has to reload. You know how tough it's going to be in the morning to take all of these zombies down? Most of them can just, um... Just eat and drink quickly. Uh, most of them will die from the fire, but there's so many that's not going to die. Ooh, I almost hit myself light again. Kill the Terminator. Something vomits at me from all directions all the time. It's not just the cops downstairs. The fact that we just at 30 frames per second goes to show how massive this horde is. The bigger the horde, the more the lag you get. Landed downstairs just now, nice. Well, this thing's silent, so we should be able to use this, but this also sometimes adds to the heat map. You have to be careful, even though- Oh, I didn't drink my recog. Now I'm gonna have to do it now to uh, take care of the rest of the zombies quickly. And then, I'll just quickly eat and drink- Oh, I should probably use normal bandages. 
Okay, coffee, because we might be... Uh, we might want to go run around downstairs. See, most of them are still going to die from the Molotovs. But since they're radiated, some of them heal incredibly fast. Okay, one more bolt left, and then... That scream is part of this thing just now. If the screamer actually starts showing up right now, we're gonna have to run away. Ooh, that demo's gonna explode. These cops are bad news. On the one hand, if I can make the cops explode on their friends, they'll help clear out. But if they explode up there, they're gonna take my base with them. Ugh. Yeah, it's so not good when they explode over there. I might definitely have to run away right now because there are just way too many of them left. Okay, hope to, hopefully there's a ton of loot over here now as well. After all this effort. Yeah, we're just gonna run away right now. The ones that do follow us will try and kill. We just have to be careful of Wandering Wards now as well. If Wandering Ward comes from behind while we're busy with these dudes. Although, you know what? It's morning, so if I drive far enough, they should start despawning. One or two that's left over there we can go for again. Let's go to the Nunker. <laughs> that um, typo that I made. Ooh, hello. Oh, no, I didn't. Ha I don't have my pick with me. I saw, yep, blue node. Three resources. But since I didn't bring my uh, pick with me, I can't uh, go and break it up right now. I should probably over here in the fog just run, uh, drive up and down and see if I can find another bunker. Because if you just explore the map, you might be able to see where there's more bunker. And now the moment of truth. How many zombies are left? Okay, it seems they all despawned. That's good for us. The fact that they can despawn so easily. We didn't even get that far away and they despawned, which is really cool. It, it saves you uh, the trouble of lag and stuff. Because the lag can get pretty insane if you're not careful. Nice. I'm going to loot the red bags first because they're the most important. Um, the yellow bags are ammo, so I should probably get them as well. But regs are uh, no, regs. Red bags are usually like am uh, like uh, weapons and armor and explosives and guns and stuff. Uh, boom, boom. And then also the the blue ones are notes, mostly and tools. And then the yellow ones are just like ammo and stuff like that. Although the ammos are, we need ammo, especially after going a whole horde night just now. We wasted all our ammo. Cargo mod, yes. Although I don't have a drone. <laughs> I'm thinking of the other mod now. In the War of the Walkers, I need cargo, um, the drones cargo mods. Uh, but I don't have the schematic yet. So for, uh, for a second just now, I was like, oh yeah, oh, wrong mod. Come on, ammo. See, we're gonna have to do a little bit more questing and stuff. We haven't really done that many quests. Uh, the quests give you cash. The cash gives you the opportunity to buy more from the bunkers. We need explosives. And this worked really well. But I'll show you guys what's gonna what's a problem with this right now as well. When, as soon as we're done looting, just want to make sure we loot all this far, as fast as we can before they start despawning. Nice, a purple crowbar. Okay, so the floor over here. I knew that this was gonna happen, but I didn't have enough blocks to finish this off. This over here kind of bothers me, but I think a demo or two exploded too many times over here. Uh, the animals did seem to use this, except someone destroyed a block. The animals used this as a way to get up, which is awesome. That's the bears doing. And then, yeah, they just made it all up to here. I don't think there's any loot bags down there. Guys, we definitely had a legendary vulture or two again, just like the day 14 horde. For those of you don't know, there are legendary monsters in the game that are like the boss monsters. So I think we should repair this horde base. Gather more resources and make a new horde base. Because this, although it works, too many of the tougher ones get to me. Uh, the exploding bears should not be able to make it to you. Because you see the amount of destruction they can actually make over here. 
And then also, yeah, a behemoth made over, that should also not make it because uh, there are also legendary behemoths. So we definitely, definitely, definitely have to worry about that as well now. Okay, we'll check the loot now. Let me just make sure everything has been gotten over here. No missing loot bags or dropped loot bags or anything. Should be safe over here. And now let's see. Okay, so we got a ton of schematics. Um, 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 let's see, weapons. Okay, we can sort. I accidentally forgot to lock my slots over here anyways. Uh, pick. But I, I should actually see at my base which one I, I think we have a blue pick at the moment. And like a green shovel or something. We have a yellow crowbar, so now this is all gonna replace that. Uh, let's see. We almost, we're four notes away from making another class. And with the ones that we have the, oh, well, no wait, there's yeah. Okay, so yeah, we can make another class book right now. That's awesome. Food and drink, that's full, although I can go and drink one mineral water. That's mostly going to take almost all of the fatigue away. Let's see, guns. We were using a purple one, uh, one and yeah, this is a blue one, so still this is better. Although, I wonder which, which is better over here. Hmm. That, that's a yellow, and that's just that little bit of a difference. So the M60 seems to be still way, way better. Although, at the moment, this level makes it the best one between the two. Also, now we finally have... Yep, there you go. Let me just do this. We finally have... We're starting to get better gear right now as well. I am going to have to worry though, because I need to put some noise cancelling. I think we have two more advanced noise cancelling uh, mods. So that's going to be over here, just to make sure we don't make too much noise when crawling through places. Okay, let's quickly go to the base and drop some stuff off. And then I should probably also... Oh, my machete is at the base. I was about to say, we should probably pick up all of these corpses over here before screamers and stuff start showing up. Although, as long as we're quiet right now, we should be good to go. There's a chance of a Wandering Horde making it past us now, because I haven't seen one in a while. But I'm hoping that's not going to happen soon. They shouldn't be able to make it any unless they stand on each other's heads or break the block that I just jumped over. And with zombies, either is possible. Okay, so let me just quickly do a little bit of inventory management, and I'll catch you guys back now. I should probably start using turrets as well. Because we don't have any NPCs or stuff to help us in this game. The only problem is they go through ammo a lot faster and we need a lot of iron to make its ammo. But yeah, let me just quickly put all this stuff away first. Can you guys hear what's on the outside? I just need to be quiet and hope they don't hear me. I'm not crouched right now, so if I close this down... Have they heard me. Wandering Horde. Hello, zombies! Let me just burn a few of you guys over there. So, so, most of you are just radiated. Come on, up the ladder you go. Up the ladder you go. I do still have my guns from Horde Knight with me so I can deal with them. Oh, there's an exploder! As you guys can see, he's put. He has... Nope, 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 nope. Yep. Okay, so now he even sounds like a demo. He is a knight, uh, what do you call it? He's a, a feral white zombie. With some explosives in his hands. The explosives in his hands, he's like, uh, he's like a uh, bomber. A saboteur. I would just say some kind of bomber, but I, I think YouTube would flag me. I'm scared right now for the screamer to show up because even though it's gun silenced, it can still pull um, a screamer to me. The heat map does still go up even if you have a silencer. Slower, but it does go up. Although it might be the other way around. It might be that the heat map goes up faster with the silencer, it's just you do a less of noise inside of your eye. So the zombies don't hear you, but the screamer does. Naughty, naughty boy. We're supposed to be a fire dude, but how am I killing you with fire? Damn. I think the trader might be in pro uh, trouble right now. Oof. Okay, that broke at just the right time just now. Get 
Did anyone make it through? You be careful if I hear a screamer, but I do still hear zombies inside the trader. Oh, hello? Feral work. See, we're only getting ferals and tough zombies and 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 I can do this so they can make it. Okay, so let me just put the rest of the stuff away. That was a little bit uh, too close to comfort. Okay, so I have done a little bit of storage management and I just realized uh, we only have one advanced military sto uh, storage pocket. For those of you who don't know, this thing basically gives you 12 slots. The normal one we have on over here on all of our clothing gives us six. So we can have times four, 24 more slots. Uh, if this is 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 324. So we can have up to there open if we put the other ones on as well. Uh, then we just have to go and work on our other stuff too. But for now, yeah, for now, that's all we really need. Oh, that, and then we need the large backpack. Can we make the large backpack here? Let me just check that as well. Backpack large is locked behind. Modifiers crafting. Uh, modifiers crafting, we can't get any fit. Although we have 23 points. I just realized we leveled up like crazy during the last Horde night. Uh, so for this one we need general perks 16. So we go and do this, this. Okay, modifiers crafting. Please tell me this is the last one we needed. Uh, let's see. Armor mods, customized fittings, drone mods, fuel saver mods. That's not what I wanted. Where is it? Advanced, bunker buster, breaker, tactical armor plating mod. That's what I want right now. Large backpack armor mods. So for this, you need General Perks 20, which is <laughs> still quite a ways away. But um, yeah, at least now we know we have to get that backpack still. But now we can go. Uh, as you guys can see over here, it shows what kind of mod it is. And then next to it shows what mods under that fall uh, they fall into. So Tools Mods, we just unlocked Advanced Ergonomic Grips. Advanced Structural Brace Mods. Advanced... We have to make all of these advanced ones. Advanced Metal... Uh, blessed Metal Mod. As all of this stuff will allow us to do more damage. NICD Battery Mod is going to help shock zombies. So the sooner we make these right now, the better. First things first, though. I want to make four of these. Can I make it over here as well? Military. Okay, so in two, three minutes, 20, we'll have four more of those. Uh, for now, I also went and made two of these scavenger class books. Remember, guys, at the moment, the only thing we're going to be getting, we already have double rewards. This is just going to allow us to get 10% more coin from the uh, the quests. And we need coin right now because we need to start buying more ammos and stuff like that. Also, the exploding arrow. This is a really cool feature. You can go and make it into exploding, uh, exploding crossbows. So it's a one by one. So this, use, this is for bows. And this is for crossbows like we're using right now. That's a really cool feature uh, that uh, Killer Bunny added. The rest of the stuff over here, I'm just going to go scrap uh, or rather sell quickly. And the next time I want to check exactly how much we need to craft all those advanced mods. If we can put advanced blessed metal, advanced ergonomic grip, we'll be able to power attack, power attack, power attack, power attack. And instead of using fire, if we put the NICD on, oh, ho, ho, ho. even the shotgun, the shotgun at the moment has the fire mod on. The one, uh, let me show you guys this, this one over here, flammable oil. But if we put the NICD mod on there, it's going to shock the zombies way easier because every single pellet basically Hello, can shock. What's ailing you? What's alien? Yeah. Okay, let's just do this. This is a buggy chassis. We already have one at the base. Boom, boom, boom. Small backpack. We already have a medium one. I think all my clothing already have double pocket storage mods on and we have 5.5k. So now we can go back to the bunker. We can buy the rest of the Molotovs because we wasted so much. And then, yeah, we just have to make sure we, uh, we go for more pure eyes with there. resources. We need a lot of stone now to repair the damage. Berry supplies, tier 1. See, at my level, the insane zombies that spawn in every time that circle shrinks, that's what scares me right now. I'd rather do fetch subs and... Uh, uh, we don't have to kill the whole eye. Just fetch and go back. Are you guys part of the Wandering Horde that came through over here? Ooh, feral radiated zombie biker. Look, look how much HP this thing has. This is definitely the Wandering Horde that came through. 
Oh wow, okay, yeah, there were so many of them still left of here. I didn't even realize. At least uh, when we take them down. After we take them down, um, we can go for those storage mods and we'll be able to carry more. Without getting encumbered. Because encumbrance is our biggest enemy right now. Nice. I think we can actually explode the pumps over here, but why would we want to do that? Why don't we go get that airdrop as well? While I see it in the distance. Okay, so that just dropped because I didn't see it earlier. Uh, damn, I'm gonna have to pick this up again. I'm gonna have to make myself a hole at the back of here so it's easier getting through. It's just safer sometimes going through the station than uh, around. Okay, so what do you have? Scrap, 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 and yes, a better vest and better leg armor, yes! Well, the leg armor, we lose one mod slot, but we haven't been using it anyways. So now I just do this. I need to go back and put the uh, advanced uh, noise mufflers, cancelers on. Uh, but for now, at least, oopsie, let me just do this, modify. Yes, okay, this is awesome. Now I just have to go back and replace these military ones with the advanced ones, and we'll have way more storage to brag with as well. Okay, I'm really glad I went for this. Guys, so far, I feel this episode was awesome. It was amazing. We not only faced the Day 21 Horde Knight and survived, barely. Just, just, just barely. <laughs> we survived. But also, uh, yeah, now we're making advanced uh, military storages. We're getting our armor together, uh, skills together. We got 23 skill points just now to spend just because of this one Horde Knight. So all I'm going to do now, guys, is I'm going to go back to the base. And I'll make sure that I put all of the mods that we're crafting right now onto these uh, clothing pieces. And then I'll see you guys next time. We have to now go and repair the base, but we need resources. As you guys know, mining is boring, so we just have to look for more pure eyes with resources. If we can get the Builder Bros construction site as a quest, we can reset all the resources that was there. That's about 4,000 stone. And now that we have the concrete mixer, the advanced one, we'll be able to get a 1 to 1 ratio on the sand instead of 2 to 1 like we had before. So it's so much more worth it now. But yeah, if you guys like this episode, please like and share with your friends. Comments, tips, and feedback, leave them down below. And if you guys are new to this channel, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more of this content. See you guys next time for some more Apocalypse Now fun. Once again, a huge thank you to all my members, patrons, and contributors for your support. To join them in supporting the channel, please click the join button or check out the links in the description down below.